Remember the story of Musa alayhi salam when he went out of Egypt running for his life and he found two girls uh, wandering, w walking nervously. Two sisters, two girls' sisters. And he asked them, what's your problem? They said directly, we cannot water, give meaning water to our, to our uh, uh, herd, our cattle, while those men are there. While those men, meaning they were very shy to mix with men. He said, okay, where are your hearts? They said this. He went, mashallah, he gave water to them. One of them, and then he went to the tree. He lied down under the tree and he made his famous dua of rizq. Rabbi, inni lima anzalta ilayya min khayrin faqir. Wallah, I am indeed in need of the sustenance that you have provided for me. Because he is in a land where he knows no one. One of them came walking to call him right Allah said فجاءت إحداهما تمشي على استحياء one of them came very malu that's what made Yusuf Musa alayhi salam work for her father for 10 years what he liked about the girl is her shyness that is what goes last long in your marriage if you if you see the girl malu when you look at her, she becomes pink, yellow, red, scared. That's the woman you marry. Quickly. Not the one say, hi, I was waiting for you. Why are you late? Why you don't reply to me? I didn't lie to you. It's the one that when she sees you, she penny almost faint. That's the woman you should marry. Regardless of her beauty. Fat, tall, short, it's not. So what made Sayyidina Yusuf, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam, Sacrificed 10 years. Her dowry was 10 years of his service. He knew what was it. He was in Egypt. All the girls were available. He was prince of Egypt. He knew that these ladies are not worth it. That one. So be careful, brothers. And you choose the one who is so manu. That's the one. Keep looking at I don't know what. See, you see what, that's what made Musa alayhi salam sacrifice 10 years of his life. The dowry was 10 years of his life. Show me anyone can pay that. You work for me, you don't move from here for 10 years. Yes. Or her father. Her father knew how to raise her. She and her sister, but when she came, she came malu because she's lonely. Her sister is not with her. And what did she say to her father? Ya abat istajir. Oh my father, hire this man. Inna khayra man istajir. Tal qawiyyul amin. Dad, hire this man. As this man is very qawi. We saw him, he and my sister, when he, when he moved the whole rock by himself. Second one, he is amin. How did she know he was amin? How did she know he was honest? The fact that he told her, walk behind me. Show me the way, but walk behind me, he said. He didn't say, you go, I follow you. Because if you go follow you, you may look at the body. Today, men are gazing women. He even told her, walk behind me. So the girl was, was shocked that there, there are men like this. Hey, he's, he's future prophet. He was not yet prophet. He was not yet prophet when he said that. Because on the way back to Egypt with her, and with her as wife, Allah revealed to him that you are going to Fir'aun, you and your brother and this. So that's also what a woman should look for. That he can protect her, he has the whole wife, and he is honest. This man is very honest. If he didn't do it with me, he will not do it with another woman. Ah. But most ladies today, what do they look for? Huh? And some. Rasulullah speaking about this subject. He said, Iyakum, Iyakum, be careful. Never ever marry Khadra ud Diman. Then he said, Ya Rasulullah, what is Khadra ud Diman? They didn't know. It was a new word for them. 
Hadra ud Diman, the Arabs knew what was it. It was a beautiful flower that grows up in, uh, in the trash. You know when you throw poops and the, you know the trash, there is a flower that comes out. It's really beautiful from far, but go smell it, it smells like hell. Meaning, it's very deceiving. Out of look, you are really impressed. Um, so Rasulullah warned us, because most men, when they are attracted to a woman, is because of what? It's because of the look. Men are very weak in front of a look of a woman, and looks are deceiving, most of them. A woman can spend two, three hundred ringgit on herself, and she will look, whoo, after the three hundred, four hundred, like this guy, he sued his wife in the morning of because she made up she the makeup made her so totally different. When the judge saw her real photo with her real, he, he gave him actually he said you return everything because that's really deceiving. He said, Your Honor, I married this woman, not this woman. <laughs> Makeup was so big, he said, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm scared now, like bear. Mm. No, real, real. Same thing with brothers. So a man is very much uh, weak in front of a look of a woman. Women, unfortunately, not all of them, but in general, are very weak in front of money. When they see a man with money, they don't care. They don't care. I'm saying most women. I'm not including same thing. Majority of men, if the woman shows part of her, reveals part of her beauty to him, he goes crazy. This is why many men make mistakes. That's why, my brothers, the first thing you look into a woman is Haya. Does she have Haya? Tamshi Anastihya. When she came, she was extremely shy because she's lonely and she's telling him, Come, my father is asking you to come. If her father was able to walk, he would have gone to him and asked him to come. He was an old man already bedridden. Bedridden. That's why she came. The other sister, what happened? She stayed cooking. Wow. Beautiful family. Mother already passed away. So one man with two daughters. That's why they were outside the, um, giving water and feeding the animals. <clears throat> Meaning there was they were out of necessity, not out of wanting to go out, jalan jalan. So Musa realized this family need, needs him and he needs them. He's already Allah blessed him right away. Look, he gave him a family to look after him. And what a noble family, believing family. Alhamdulillah, and marriage and everything, job and everything, shelter. If Allah gives you something like this, take it. Musa didn't marry from Egypt. Musa married from Madian. So Ahmad, don't say Iraqi or no. Could be, mashallah, Malaysian sister. Takmir, the one who is religious, you'll be safe. Meaning, when you look, don't look at beauty. Leave beauty, leave money, and leave her family status. Is she religious? Is she already wearing hijab? Or you are going to teach her again the hijab? Is she, mashallah, praying her five daily prayers? Is she a woman of Quran? Is she a woman of classes like this? Is she a woman who loves Allah and the Messenger? She does sadaqat. She, 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 she is in, into Islam. That's the woman you take. Why? Because if she fears Allah, she will never cheat on you or do something you don't like. Beauty, there are others looking at her, <coughs> with you. If you are interested in her beauty, do you know how many people are also after her? And by the way, imagine you have a beautiful wife and you are walking with her. Everybody is looking at her, then what? Either you are the youth, you don't, like, you don't care, you let everybody look at her, and you feel happy. Oh, she's hot, eh? Guys, eh? she's hot, eh? she's hot. She burns you, inshallah. She burns you on your face. Say, I mean, not for you, for him or whoever thinks like this. Or you are, mashallah, a very angry man and you keep fighting with everybody. 
Every day you fight, whenever you are with her? You got it or not? That's why your wife, you tell her. So the hadith is, is what's the reality, not what to look for? No, meaning these are the things that makes men look for women. Mm. You take the fourth one. Okay. Now, it's a great bonus if she has all the four. Alhamdulillah. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but when you chose her, you chose her for her ethics, not for beauty. If she has, mashallah, ethics, akhlaq, and then she has beauty, she's rich or from rich family, and she is, mashallah, from a noble family, let it be. Go ahead. But what really triggered you is her akhlaq. For example, you saw her in the masjid, you saw her active in university with uh, sisters, with and you liked her. Later on, you came to find out that her father is country, that she, no problem. But no, no, no. You saw her first time coming in a Rolls Royce, and you <laughs> fell in love. Sorry, you fell in love with the Rolls Royce, not with her. You are just a liar. That's why sisters pretend, pretend you have nothing. If someone likes you for not having anything, he's senior. He's sincere. You two brothers, if you are quite, mashallah, wealthy, don't, don't, don't go to, go, go with a bicycle, go with a motorbike that has so much smoke. <laughs> and whoever sister, mashallah, except you, wow, that this woman will really die for you. You go in the red car, all the girls will come around you, of course. So he said, Iyakum wa khadra'u diman. They said, Ya Rasulullah, wa ma khadra'u diman. He said, Al mar'atu al hasna fi al manbati al suh. He said, I warn you from khadra'u diman. Don't marry khadra'u diman. He said, Ya Rasulullah, what is khadra'u diman? He said, khadra'u diman is a woman who is beautiful, yet she grew up in a very ugly environment. Her mother was not really good mother in terms of ethic. Father doesn't care. Her upbringing will kick up one day in the marriage. So you better, I better look for uh, my son, inshallah, for a girl who is from a good family. I know her father, I know her mother. I know how they, alhamdulillah, they struggle to be good Muslims, no problem. That's the one. That's the one. And also, my dear brothers and sisters, about beauty. Beauty is very relevant. What you think is beautiful, I may not think it's beautiful. You may see something and say, wow, Sheikh, look, mashallah, beautiful car. I say, sorry, that's not. That's not something. But Sheikh, look, this is Austin, I don't know, Martin Austin, or whatever they call it. I, I don't care. I like old Mercedes. <laughs> That's Sheikh Lumia. Like there. Huh? So, uh, also money. You may think someone has a lot of money. Someone has more money than him. So he's rich now. You think you're rich. I, I put you with Bill Gates. Then who are you? He doesn't even look at you. Me and Ahmad were talking about it. It's actually the baraka of the money that's important. Very good. It's yeah. what, very good. Yeah, very little, but it's baraka. It's like makan. When you go eat, you ate little, but subhanAllah, you feel so yeah. and The food was delicious. Like most food we eat in the masjid, subhanAllah, baraka, especially after class like this for Ali. The food is very blessed. So it's the baraka that comes with a woman. Ha, huh. uh, family, she is from a big family. Uh, you upset uh, her father? You upset his daughter. She goes home and she cries. What's wrong with you? Uh, Ahmed. Ahmed didn't treat me nice. That bold man, I break his head. <laughs> Ahmed's head is broken. <laughs> because he's tough. But if you marry religious, like this sister, true story. This sister, she had fight with her husband, argument, and she was crying. At the time, the moment her teeth started coming off, her brother, uncle, and father were at the door. Uh -oh. Ring, ring. She went to open the door, 
Her father sees her tears. What's wrong with you? Brother, already ready. Uncle sharpening his knife. Taqbir. Algerian family. Taqbir. You know what she said? The husband, his heart was about to fall. Fight. She said, I missed you so much. And I was, subhanAllah, thinking of coming. And it was the tears of missing you. She didn't say you came in the right time. This is an abusive man. Attack him. Attack him. You got it? Subhanallah. She protected her husband. This is the world you know. Even when you fight, she's still there. Dad. Today you don't even tell her any word. Already CNN knows. You, you said only one word. I'm just here already know. Whoa. Her father is coming with a knife. Not with a knife, with a sword. Oh. <laughs> You see the real women, mashallah, like our mothers here and our sisters, no matter what. So she completely, her husband never, never offended her after that. I mean, he tried his best to treat because he knows that he's with a good one. Another one will say, look. They were even fighting, quarreling. Because you took a religious woman. You wanted beauty, you wanted I don't know what, go ahead. Stuck now. I'm not saying you don't marry a beautiful woman, but no religious first. Religion. <coughs> and a good woman will cover her uh, beauty as much as he can. She will not reveal certain things. <coughs> a woman who always shows you brothers and sisters, especially brothers, some part of her body, then you rest. Dangerous. So, Alhamdulillah, Sayyidina Musa السلام, sacrificed 10 years of his life for a woman worth it. Because she was, she came talking to him about to faint out of bashfulness, modesty, and shyness. She was so shy. Indeed, my father. Is inviting my father, not we are inviting you. Indeed, my father, please, brother, whoever you are, don't think it's us who are. Look at the words. In the Abbey, indeed, my father is inviting you to come home so that he pays you for what you have done. In the Abbey, my father, man to man. And if he had a son, he would have sent a son. Remember this. So don't use this ayah as the permissibility for a woman to go talk to a man. No. This is only in case there is no man. When there is no man in the family, a woman can go <coughs> quickly. And she was far when she was talking to him from far. And then he said, okay, I walk before you and you show me the way." Clear? One more question or two and then we go pray, inshallah.